it's so exciting to have you, Melissa. Um, just knowing that, I mean, you are a legend in this game. Let's just keep it real. <laughs> and, 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 and honestly, you've entertained so many of us for for many seasons and many years. And I'm I'm very grateful to have you on. And I just want to know what a what are the challenges that a executive producer has to have when balancing still being the actress as well? Well, this one I will tell you was really tricky. I mean, the location was difficult. We were um, we were trying to find an empty dude ranch in July, and that wasn't easy because you know these dude ranches are up and running only for the months of like June, July, August. So we couldn't find a place to shoot. So location was really difficult. Once we found a location, no Wi-Fi, no cell phone service. Um, wow. With the shortage of rental cars this year, no one had a rental car. Dwayne got <laughs> some funny stories about that. About that. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, it was it was challenging. Like the location was so difficult. The communication was really hard. The fires and heat wave that surrounded us, and being the executive producer and feeling responsible for my fellow actors and my crew. Right. Um, it was, it was hard to pull this one off. I mean, there were a few times we had some breakthrough COVID creases right at the beginning. We lost our DP and our first AD wow. right off the bat. And we're in the middle of Montana and in, in like the mountains of Montana. Everyone was terrified the first few days of grizzly bears. And then it became a, like, that was a real fear, right, Dwayne? I mean, we had, everyone carried their bear mace and we had the whole thing ready to go, but, and we stayed tight as a crew. But, um, you know, we just had so many challenges on this one. And as an executive producer, you know, you hate to have that with your cast and your crew. And, um, and this crew has worked with me in many, many movies. So it was, um, it was a little heartbreaking to have it go, yeah. um, <laughs> be really difficult to produce. A but at the end, we have a movie, like I kind of can't believe it. Watching the that trailer. product is just like, oh, we did it, you guys. <laughs> we made a movie that hopefully people will enjoy. What would you say are the parallels between yourselves and the characters that are being portrayed in this film. Sorry, can, can you repeat that? Yes, what are the parallels between you as a person and your character? Do you, do you find anything that you can relate to um, with your character? Um, well, uh, primarily I can obviously, you know, being from, uh, being an outsider coming from the UK and just trying to find my feet in, you know, America and just trying to find some sense of this place. Yes, uh, going to the ranch, I guess it's just the same sort of um, parallel sort of energy I'm just bringing, just my outside influence and, you know, just take take from it what I can, you know, and I've, I've applied that philosophy throughout my life. So just being on a ranch, you know, with my kids, it was almost an element of rehabilitation, you know, almost. And I think everyone deserves that. And to be forced to do that with my children, I know it's only a story, but if everyone gets to that uh, experience, something like that, it's definitely priceless in their lifetime to have and look back on, you know. How long did it take you guys to come up with this film? I mean, you have the horses going on, you have the square dancing going on. I mean, it, it's hot out there in Montana during film. And how was that? Um, actually, this movie is actually inspired by my cousin's true life experience in Wyoming, going to a dude ranch, and she met a wrangler and fell in love. Oh. So this is the flip flop of that. Um, we were actually at her wedding in Wyoming last year when she, uh, when she got married and that's where my mother and I, who produces Heartbreak Films, uh, she and I, my mother is my partner. We were on horseback and we're like, I said, this would make a great movie. And she said, well, do you want to be the Wrangler or the guest? And I was like, well, I want to be the Wrangler because I'm going to really learn how to be a cowgirl. So I worked all summer on lessons, lasso lessons. Um, I knew there was archery involved in square dancing, but I was like, I'll have to put that off for right now. I just want to get comfortable on a horse. So I rode as many horses as I, can, I could for as long as I could, um, you know, learned about different rain techniques and, and different ways to respond to a horse and, and how horses respond to you. And I had a, I mean, I had a very fast and furious lesson. There were some lessons where I went away and told my husband, I was like, I'll see you in three hours. If you're lucky, I might not make it back. Cause I got a little scared sometimes <laughs> with some of the stuff I was doing, but um, I was just trying to get comfortable and it was really exciting. And the horse that I actually ended up riding, um, his real name was Maverick. We called him Thunder in the movie, but we had such a, I, I've never been so in love as I was with this horse. No, no <laughs> honest, Dwayne, but, I love that. Oh my gosh. That horse and I, Dwayne knows we fell madly in love. Um, and the, uh, 
the horse and I had a wonderful relationship. You guys did a really great job at displaying that Montana spirit, that energy. I'm a little bit curious, was anybody that was a part of the production in this film, was anyone from Montana? How were you able to bring those experiences to the characters? I'd like to add to that, that our director, Kelly Martin, um, her her husband is from Montana. So she has a long history with Montana and felt very tied to this film. And Jamie's character was like, she had such a vision for him and she wanted him so much to be an author. And she was so excited with casting Jamie because, um, because he just had that sort of natural ruggedness and that like Montana man, you know, mountain man kind of vibe to him. And he pulled it off so beautifully. Thank you guys for tuning in to Sessions with Steven. Don't forget to tune in to Mistletoe in Montana only on Lifetime on December 17th at 8 p.m. Thank you guys. Happy holidays. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Paradise Ranch. Are you a real life cowgirl? I most certainly am. December 17th. So you think ranch life is easy? It's just a bunch of yeehaws and giddy ups, right? Oh, whoa, horsey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, Mark and I live in two very different worlds. If you choose to follow your heart, so be it. Melissa Joan Hart and Dwayne Henry. It'll be the best Christmas present ever. Mistletoe in Montana. Premieres Friday, December 17th at 8. Part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime. Hey, subscribe now.